Arsenal fan TV bully. It's beautiful here in Monaco. It's absolutely amazing place to come and watch football. But so disappointing that we're out. It's, I, I, I can't express how disappointing it is. Did we, in that first game, both the fans and the team take Monaco too lightly and that's why we're out? Well, and the club as well. Well, they were mm. sending them tweets asking them if they were scared, which basically just rolled them up even more and made them more determined. Like, mm. um, we just the players basically walked out onto that pitch, whether arse and mm. g gave them that, that way of thinking, or whether it was just the players themselves because everybody sort of like, oh, it's on Monaco, like, no problem. Everybody was forgetting that they'd only conceded like a couple of goals, mm. and uh, they just walked on the pitch thinking that was, that's all they had to do mm. and they was through. What's no. going to be really annoying now is if they do get Porto. Mm. <laughs> and disappointing and tonight, good performance, listen, to, to go away from home and win 3-0 is virtually impossible in the Champions League, you know, again, when you're playing against top quality teams, but we nearly pulled it off. Well, yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, we hit the post two or three times and keep pulled off another good save like uh, it was there wasn't the clinical finishing mm. that we should have had in the in the first half as well yeah. like of the the tie um Giroud missed four mm. easy ones in the first leg tonight we still went out a little bit uh lackadaisical like which is a spurs <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and uh, we needed to be 2 0 up. If that mm. second one had gone in just before half time, it just yeah. went wide of the post, like, then mm. I think we could have done it. But mm. they then started playing clever. They threw themselves mm. to the floor, at, like, when we got near them and everything else like that. Mm. And they conned the referee, and he was awful tonight. Mm. Absolutely awful. And I think everybody was saying that, like, mm. He's probably got one of the boat, big boats around here with a lot of the women. <laughs> the Prince has laid them on for him, I dare say. But, uh, right. Listen, um, what's going to be a decent season now for, for Arsenal? Um, we're out of the Champions League. What, FA Cup? What's going to be decent for us? Oh, we've got to retain the FA Cup. and mm. We can't slip back down to fourth now. Mm. Um, we've got to keep pushing. And we've got Chelsea to play as well. Mm. They're faltering at the moment, and hopefully we can uh, beat Moaning Maureen's team. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> if we put some real pressure on them because they've mm. still got some hard games to go. Mm. Uh, and, 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 and if you was in the, if you was able to talk to the players um, after this defeat, what would you be saying to them, like going into the, the games now for the rest of the season? Forget how they play on the bleeding PlayStation or the Xbox and all that. Mm. They've got to go out there from the first minute to the last minute and they've got to be playing top football mm. like keep the pressure up close the players down don't give them five yards or any more than that mm. you've got to be right in their faces but it was it was so frustrating a game because mm. we had the same thing again against Munich the other year right? mm. and it's like the storyline for the press <laughs> like, all the time it's like glorious yeah, failure yeah all, all the time mm. uh, uh, the referee was absolutely awful mm. tonight. He's very corrupt, but we're in a place of corruption here, aren't we? Like, <laughs> he's, built, he's built by all the tax dodgers, like they, they earn their money and come here and like. They, they, I couldn't believe how they were celebrating afterwards. They, they'd lost 2 0. Like, uh, <laughs> well, they are through. They are through. They are through, are through yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, Bully, see you at the weekend. Yeah, long trip again back up to Newcastle. <laughs> Not as glamorous as there, though, is it? Oh, no, and the women aren't as good looking up in Newcastle oh, as they have been down here. You're going to be in trouble, mate. You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not that bad. My ex is from <laughs> Newcastle, actually. I mean, what did you make of it? We gave everything uh, for, from, from the start to, to the finish. We just didn't do enough in the, fir in the first leg. We gave it away in the first leg. Too complacent in the first leg. 